Well, good morning. Well, I know uh, you're here because we're going to announce the opening date of the Ark Encounter project in 2016. But I speak all over the world, and so it'd be wrong of me to get up here and not give some sort of presentation. So you're going to have to put up with that first. But uh, Dr. Um, John Wickham is here, and Mark mentioned him in particular. And Dr. Wickham is a theologian. And back in 1961, he and the late Dr. Henry Morris published that book, The Genesis Flood. And The Genesis Flood was really a groundbreaking book that dealt with the theological, geological, and biological aspects of the account of Noah's Ark and the flood in the Bible. And the book actually helped people uh, answer some of the questions about the ark, the feasibility of building such an ark, and the feasibility that Noah could do the things that are described in the Bible. And not only that, uh, it also helped people understand the size of the ark. And I think that's something that for many people, they don't realize how big Noah's ark really was. It was a massive wooden ship. Even where you're standing right now on the first deck, this is only the main part of the body of the ark. The bow is yet to go on uh, behind you there, and the stern is yet to go on at the other end. And so it is really quite a massive construction. Well, in 2016, 55 years after the publication of the Genesis Flood book, we're going to be opening the Ark Encounter, which is a reconstruction of Noah's Ark uh, based upon the dimensions as given in the Bible and recorded in the book of Genesis. You know, I would say out of all the biblical events, probably the Ark is the most well-known around the world, which is one of the reasons why it's going to attract visitors from all over the world, not just Christians, but people from all different backgrounds are very interested in Noah's Ark and have heard of Noah's Ark. And we believe that what we're doing here in this particular life-size reconstruction will be the most authentic and the most realistic reconstruction of Noah's Ark in the world. It's really not commonplace for a conservative Christian organization to actually be building such a world-class, professional-themed attraction as the Ark Encounter. But by the grace of God, we are thrilled and thankful that we've been entrusted with such a project as this. Now, Dr. John Wickham, who is here with us today, as he is the co-author of the Genesis Flood, which has had an incredible, incredible impact uh, on uh, the Christian community worldwide, I've asked him if he would read four verses from Genesis, the book of Genesis, because as we were considering the opening date, looking at the construction schedules and determining when we could open the Ark Encounter, and a lot of effort has gone into that, of course. We've worked a lot with our supervisors and contractors and others. And then as we're considering, okay, then what date should be the date for opening to the public? Uh, well, we came up with the date really based on these verses that I'm going to get Dr. Wickham to read to you. Not only that, we also came up with another idea in regard to the opening uh, that I believe people will really like as well. But first of all, let me get him to read these four verses of the Bible in Genesis. Genesis chapter 7, verses 4 through 7. Genesis chapter 7, verse 4. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth, forty days and forty nights. And every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according to all that the Lord commanded him. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood. You say, Dr. Whitcomb, how do you know that that ever happened? Would you like to hear the creator of the world telling you about this? Listen, please, to Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until Noah 
the day Noah entered the ark and knew not till the flood came and took them all away. And I say thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for absolutely endorsing the historicity, the reality of that great flood and the means by which you spared the human race in Noah's ark a few thousand years ago. Thank you, uh, Dr. Wickham. When he read those passages there from Genesis, he read Genesis 7-7, and on the front here, you see it has Genesis 7-7. And so as we were thinking about when we were going to open the ark, well, in Genesis 7-7, it says that Noah and his family entered the ark. And so what I'm going to do, according to our exhibit designers, if I pull this chain, something special will happen. Is that right? And there we are, the opening date of the ark, Genesis 7-7. So on 7-7-2016, we will allow the public to enter the ark. Noah and his family entered the ark and the public are going to enter the ark for the first time on the 7th of July, 2016. Now, as well as that, as well as entering the ark open to the public on July 7. 2016, because so many people have indicated that they want to come to visit the Ark and we're opening midsummer, we're a little concerned about how many people are going to want to come, particularly in the rest of that summer. And we want them to have a good experience. And so as we thought about that, we also there read in Genesis 7 verse 4 that at the beginning of the flood, it commenced with 40 days and 40 nights of rain. So we have decided that we're going to have daytime tickets and evening tickets. So two times that people will be able to come to the ark each day for the first 40 days and 40 nights. So we're going to have 40 days and 40 nights of daytime tickets and evening tickets. And then January 19, people will be able to go to the Ark Encounter website, arkencounter.com, and again, because we're concerned that if people just turn up and there's too many come on one day, they'd have a bad experience. The way we are going to make the tickets available for the first 40 days and 40 nights is online through an online reservation system where they'll be able to go to arkencounter.com and then they'll be able to reserve their tickets and purchase their tickets there uh, to make sure that they really do have a good experience as they come here to the Ark Encounter.